artistry is <laughs> not the main focus anymore. That's the thing. It used now it's about branding and deal and doing deals. And- yeah, we go on the, the the methodical way of, of artistry. When nowadays that ain't even applicable to a lot of people. That just doesn't artistry. It's mad. KillerKellerOfficial.com THTC, the UK's leading ethical streetwear label. Organically grown and ethically built garments from hemp, organic cotton and other sustainable materials. 2019 is their 20th anniversary year. Join me with THTC as a Killer Keller podcast sponsor celebrating music, social activism, hemp and street culture. THTC, eco-fashion redefined since 1999. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. We need to talk about world music and street cultures. Killer Keller podcast. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Killer Keller podcast live and direct. Let me sort this fucker out. Central London as central as you need to be. Shout out to Graffiti Kings and all area crew inside. We're oh, definitely uh, central, you know, because this is like one of them location, location, <laughs> location minutes, bro. Hey, you know, it's gone in that way, isn't it? In it. This is Lynn Bailey inside the place. How are you, my brother? I'm blessed, man. Yeah, it's lovely yeah, yeah, to I'm see good. you. Yeah. Shout out to Graffiti Kings. This man right here, multi uh, linguists, writer, instrumentalists. I mean, you're, you're pretty much, uh, you're across the board artistry. Yeah, bro. Um, How do you feel about that? Sometimes I won't lie, like I wonder. You can only just do you in it. Yeah. Yeah. And like you know, obviously, if you're asking me on a creative level, yeah, I think I like I'm proud of all my different bits and bobs. You know what I mean? So you should be. I, yeah, I, yeah. I believe. But um, but on a on a on a professional level, maybe mm. I could have um, focus. You know, you can plan things out a bit more. I don't know. Maybe I've had people tell me I confuse them. So, I don't know. Serves them fucking right, that's what I say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you travelled south, then you come south to North Wheezy. Yeah. How was it for you? Um, it was a bit intense, obviously, with this COVID thing. And I had a little smoke before I got on the train, so... So you had a little cough and then you just... He came and he goes, let like, you know, this isn't a COVID cough. This isn't a coffin. This is a this is a blazed coffin. Yo, it's mad, like... <laughs> What's your thoughts on that? I believe you're a man of many thoughts and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... I feel like I'm I'm not into the whole, like, it's mad. I've got one foot in and one foot out. Like, I'm in... I know it's a fuckery. Mm. Yeah? <laughs> like, I know it's a fuckery. I feel you. But at the same time, I'm a kind of... I don't want to be a dickhead either. Like yeah. people, You don't want to be that guy. I'm not... Well, people have died and that. You mm. know what I mean? I, I don't like it. The other day, I don't know who I was with, but people were going, yeah, but do you actually know anyone that's died? But I was like, well... Like, we do know. So, you know, just for like when I was saying to you before the camera came on, you know, when I'm on uh, a couple of times now, I've jumped on uh, public transport. Troublic transport. Yeah, troublic transport. Mm -hmm. And basically, I've made people feel uncomfortable because I haven't had my mask. And I can see, you know, like, look, when you're looking at auntie that's clearly just on her way back from work, I'm not due to be like, being a, ma- a madman about it and then going online with oh fucking system bun babylon like obviously yeah. bun babylon yeah all day it's all day but <laughs> all day. but let's have some social cohesion while we're doing it let's get people on the side yeah and so i believe that it's a fuckery trust it was invented all of them things mm. yeah mm. it it comes from it comes from like lucifer's belly <laughs> but saying that, we got to work with the fuckery, innit? Yeah, yeah. So just make auntie happy by putting your mask on everyone. Yeah. Get me. That's just essentially just try not to be a cunt. That's yeah, don't the, be a dickhead. Don't be that person. <laughs> it's a tough one, isn't it? Because yeah. like you say, we all have a, we're all built on a belief, but then there's a system that's got a belief. And once people are installed with that thing, then it makes it, you, you actually, okay, you may be appeasing some of the, the powers, but at the same time, yeah, I mean, people are just people. You don't want people pissed, or upset, or sad. I, like, I don't yeah. want. Yeah, like if if someone wants to ask me my opinion on on certain things now, mm. like you know, then I, I'll give it them. But like, it don't mean that they should start moving the way I move as well. And people, I know it's basic what we're saying now, yeah. but it is literally like yeah. that now, bruv. Like, mm. if you don't move, our people move. It's like, right, oh, it's us and them. Mm. And I've been spending a lot of time mm. online recently, yeah, on Twitter and that. Just 
I was trying this whole, you know, being on, on my social media and. Try. <laughs> <laughs> Oh mate, love it. It's next yeah. exclusive. But exclusive. I was trying all of that in it, and it, you know what? I was yeah. just being myself on there. Whatever it's cool, but I noticed that it's very tribal. Mm. Um, even even yeah, it's mad. It is tribal. Yeah, I, I, yeah. So do you feel like we're falling in line? What kind of things do you normally discuss on this per, on on this podcast? By the way, all sorts of things. Okay, Are you, do you we like to talk it. about Babylon and all them? We can talk whatever. Right. You, I, this is your podcast, my bro. We are going in deep. Oh. I want to know the ins and outs. So, what was that question then? Uh, well, just ask me. Yeah, a do you think? What are my thoughts? Do you think there's like the level of falling in line, particularly like with? Oh no, we are falling in yeah. line. Yeah, we've been falling in line yeah. since. Like, like, let's be proud of that. Yeah, <laughs> right, let's be proud. Everyone, stop screwing about falling in line. Falling in line. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Yeah, there's nowhere to run anymore. Yeah. So just just be active, yeah. be conscious, exactly. um, try and be, just try and do you in, in what you can do. It, no one has to be a superhero yet. We're not in this for that. We're just trying to live. Sorry. No, man. you're right. Yeah. Keep going. That's yours. You're right. But, yeah. You're absolutely right. And I yeah. often feel that way as well because, right, for those... That, that know me personally, I'm very vanilla about stuff. I'm like that. I'm like Jay Z and Beyonce. They don't talk politics. They don't talk. You know what I mean? They just kind of get on with being them. Mm -hmm. I'm very much in that world of entertainment. I have my morals. I have my values, and I I religiously love powerful uh, music with balls and a yes. political stance. You know, yeah. I love that stuff. I love that. But me as a person, yeah. I often like. Well, I ain't that as and in a character. Mm -hmm. I endorse it. I give a platform for people to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Me and myself, though, I kind of fall with what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Just go with the restrictions of what they've given you and what, or what you feel your restrictions are, try and expand on them and just be the best example. Yeah, like once, I understand like the youth, yeah, they, want, they don't want to hear people talking about being an example or being a, a, a... Someone said to me once, a teacher that I didn't really respect, but... It, 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 whatever anyway but mm. he said why can't you be an ambassador for your race yeah white man I couldn't I wasn't backing it but mm. uh, I didn't know why I wasn't backing it at the time I was just being a dick I was a dickhead didn't mm. I everyone's a dickhead but um, <laughs> yeah. but basically now I under, I don't understand what he was saying because he was a white guy and he didn't he wasn't aware of this and that but I've had it said to me since by like people close to me um, you know, in discussion, not aimed at me. And um, and the older I get, the more I do feel like, you know what, try and be a good example, in it. Like, mm. you don't need a book in your hand, mm. but if a book in your hand's how you're going to do, mm. you know, whether it's uh, Buddha or whether it's like flipping Tony Robbins, you mm. get me? Um, <laughs> I'll take Tony Robbins. You know, do, you know um, but yeah, so... Look, I'm a bad example most of the time, if I'm being real, but like... Yeah, elaborate. Because it doesn't actually just, appear you know, I get way. RC and, I, you know, like, you know, like I was saying on my Instagram today, you just have to remember um, if if you're going to be, you know, bumping into people, you get on the wrong side of things or like mm. people say the wrong thing to you and you get, um, you know, triggered. People getting triggered all you the get time. Triggered, yeah. Just remember that you don't always know what that person's going through. All day. I agree. You don't always, like, mm. you don't always know, you know, and like... Everyone's got their problems. Everyone's got them. And we are all madheads. Like, mm. we literally, and and that's being exposed now, and, you know, mm. it's being exposed that we're all neurotic, we're all, whether silently or loud, into ourselves, mm. and we're all trying to um, look out and, and try and identify with things. Into themselves, no, that's a good point of reference. I'm definitely into myself, and I know you must yeah. be. You, you're an artist as well, like... Yeah. Um, and 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 we, you know, I think that's just our way of accepting that. Mm, yeah, I think it's. I, I think as an artist, it's our way of accepting life being the way it is, so that you can. It's almost, that ego is you feeding the the environment in and expelling it in a different way. Mm. I mean, you have to have an ego for that, surely. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, like ego is important, yeah. um, and. And I agree with the whole, like, you know, you know, when you watch ITV and everything like that, everyone's on this ego minute 
Oh, it's mad. Oh, like, the Love Island yeah, vibe. Yeah. Oh, that's a whole nother vibe. That's mad. For those but... of you outside of town, town, outside of the country, Love Island, don't you don't want to be on that island. Yo. Not for too long anyway. Yo, it's not even... <laughs> I think, where are they now anyway? They're somewhere yeah. else, I read. But, but it feeds um, that 15, yeah. doesn't it? What's that, 15? The 15 minutes, that feeds that fame. Right, exactly. And people just thinking, literally, it's that real now where everyone is thinking, right, oh, that's a bag. Mm, that's a bag, that is. Mm. Like, I could, you know what I mean? 10 grand, it's a lot of money now. Mm. 25 grand, we do this and that. Yeah. It start, you know, it's part of a down payment, that, boom. It starts mm -hmm. with that, like, you know, yeah, exactly, exactly. You're not thinking about anything exactly. else. Exactly, that's how real it is now. It's none of mm. this. I, look, I'll be real, I'm 37, I think. I was yeah, in yeah, age. Yeah, I went right. on your Wikipedia, <laughs> innit, bro? Oh, come on. <laughs> um, come on. Hey, we've been stalking each other, baby. <laughs> and, um, and you know what? Like, we remember them times where in the music industry where when you popped, mm. you know, you made a lot of money, yeah. apparently. You yeah. know what I mean? But um, That's the theory, yeah. Anyway. But now, like, 20 grand... But then you find out 20 grand was always a lot of money anyway. Mm. But 20 grand now is like, well, oh, so I can't cuss people out for wanting to do them. Like, I'm lucky mm. that I managed to f find a spot. I, you know, I feel like I paid the price a, a few ways, but I found a little spot and oh, I can exercise dude, my demons that yo, way. So. Yo, you Not just, everyone's got that. Yeah, and we yeah we garnered the cash, the the, the methodical way of, of artistry. When nowadays that ain't even applicable to a lot of people. That just doesn't artistry. It's mad. Like mad. People don't. I mean, look, I don't. Again, I don't want to be an old hater, but no. Oh no, hey, no, no, hey. I mean, yo. If there was no, not that you are, yeah. just I have a tendency to rant, bruv, in it. Like, but a lot of artistry is <laughs> not the main focus anymore. That's the thing. It used now it's about branding and deal and doing deals. And so mm. yeah, yeah. But that's why I kind of that's why on the on the on the top of the show, I was like, how do you feel to be multi talented in your versatile in your craft output? Because because of that, you know, it's like you've already got like eight or nine plates spinning and then all of a sudden you've got a P PR then all of a sudden you've got a bit of social media expert mm -hmm. you've got to learn how to use a camera and take the photo mm -hmm. you know the I mean? more I do all of that the more I realise how um, much you can do on your own mm -hmm. but um, if I remember what you what your question I think what, what, how do I balance all the mm -hmm. creativity and all that and well, the yeah. PR and all yeah, that was and, that yeah, it? and then you're, all of a sudden you're into this other thing mm -hmm. where you've got to learn how to do do essentially eight to ten jobs at any oh, time. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. Basically, the reason that, like, I've found that me doing that make, means that I get a range of, like, love. <laughs> like, a range of feedback. I know like, what you mean. Yeah, I know like, what you mean. some people be like, oh, He's I love this Chaser yeah. Status thing. Mm. Some people be like, oh, I really love this, like, soul jazzy minute you went on mm. or whatever. Mm. So that that's, for me, like, I just live... Literally, that was what I'd written at the time. Mm. Like, people at the time would have been, why don't you try doing more of the Chase the Status thing? You get me now that that's popping. That's not what I had. Mm. That's not... I couldn't what, facilitate That it. wasn't what my life was. My mm. life was, well, I mean, it would have been so long, all this other stuff. Like, all this... Like, I am, like, more of an old school bear. Like, that's mm. I like old roots, in, you know what I mean? I like blues, man. Mm. Like blues, uh, yo, like, like some of your tunes when you start riffing them guitar, like the guitar on them. Uh, wait, wait, wait! It's not like on the recordings. It's generally if it's guitar, I only play rhythm. But where I I, I think I'm good at yeah mm -hmm. is I surround myself with sick. I'm not a guy that is in with bare people. Like I I, I just do what I'm what I'm what I rate. Mm. And so the guitar in that you do here is like these next people that are like... Fully... So you produce, you're a producer. I've, I've done co-producing and that... <laughs> Assemblement, you're, in a, you're a personnel assembler. I'm a, yeah, like basically, you know... That's so the sick. More, the more, like, I'll be real, like, I work, I work with amazing people, get like, you know, mm. Leon is like the first guy that I work with in the States. Leon. And, and Michaels is who I work with now. And um, mm -hmm. I'm, and we're, you know, I'm putting records out through Big Crown and mm -hmm. but um that was my first like interaction with like what I considered just real deal maverick kind of next sick, you know, kindred spirit type of vibes. Maverick. And then <gasps> but then you go to like I love that word maverick in it. Sick. But then, you know, when when we met each other, I was just on like all doing different stuff, you know what mm. I mean? And always like could be blues, it could be soul whatever reggae 
And then once you start, you know, getting a major deal and, you know, but if you start smelling the, the, co- the well, the coffee. <laughs> The I mean, roses. Nah, nah. What do you? What's yeah, the... and really, roses really smell like poo. poo, poo, poo. <laughs> exactly. You get me. And you start having little. Yeah, you start having ideas. You know, and 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 God bless, God bless for that. But um, creatively, you know, I've made many different decisions, and it's always been tried to be what what I feel is right at the time, and mm. and you know what I mean. So mm. yeah, um, that's a that's a. It's a real telling trait. Now I want to let my music breathe for a while, yeah, yeah. though. Okay, good. Mm. Right. Uh, that's a real telling trait as an artist that's come through different um, peaks and troughs of, of their um, of their journey. To 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 have a conversation like this that, that boasts like a lot of reflection. Uh, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Yeah. That's uh, um, because you've done a lot. Over yeah, the years, I forget, bro. you know, yeah. I think you and me were probably signed at probably the same times as each other as well. Right, right, yeah. Arguably, I think probably the same time. Right, yeah, yeah. 2007 times uh, for me. Yeah, Two, yeah. That was my first deal. It was right at the end of 2007 because I remember I went yeah, same to with me. this estate here yeah, in Scotland. That's the one, same with me. 2006, I was, by 2008, I was dropped. We parted ways. RIP, RCA. But, RCA. but you know, at the same time, yeah. at the same time after that fact, you take stock, you re-up, you repackage, you kind of align yourself a little bit more. Sometimes it takes a little longer. It can take up to three or five years if you let it. <laughs> and also you have to re rethink about what well, why am I doing it then? Am I boying it off or not? Yeah. Right, let's be real. Yeah, yeah. All right, am I boying this then? Because <laughs> when 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 things don't go right, yeah. Hmm? Like it's all right being into the struggle, yeah, because I love the struggle in it. I like, feed off that shit. Yeah, before yeah. I got even before I, I signed a deal. I was already been doing music for about since I left school, mm. and I, so I was like twenty five when I originally. So that's a long that's time a when you're a young man, man. trying yeah. to do his thing, and like I feel like when it started to not go right, in terms of um, I, you know, I, it, there was a stagnation or like a block, and you know it wasn't, and people going, oh, well, 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 well go on, so you're not popping, and where, where, where. I feel that, like yeah. when that time happened, I'm just like, right, okay, why am I doing this? Am I going to boy it off? Because if I boy it off, I'm still going to be moaning. You're still going to be doing music, but not I'm, in the way that yeah, you're Yeah, so I might as well just keep doing... You know what saved me, brother? I was on doing gigs all the time mm. with Chasing Status and Shy Effects and doing my gigs. You kept it rolling like that. that and that, that, I was all... So it, I couldn't tell you when I was gigging necessarily. I couldn't tell you when my album was coming out, but I could... You know, I felt like I was still releasing things. And, yeah, and you were active. It, I was active enough. Yeah. I was just living. It wasn't my main concern. So I thought, well, oh, popping's not, you know, and then you just do you and whatever. So, but uh, 10 you know, years funny, on. Funny, funny, funny thing you said, just to cut yourself off. Yeah. Because let's let hold tight on the 10 years. At this point in time, I can totally relate that actually, yeah, in one part of your head, you're saying, oh, that's done then. All of my leading up twos has come to this point And then that's, I'm now being forced to reset and my head ain't entirely ready for it, but I'm just going, oh, fuck it off anyway. And you kind of reject all the ambition and even skill set to a degree. But then, but then something is almost like ball and chaining you saying, nah, mate, nah, you're still in the game. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you've got chasing status and shy effects, you've got this feature, you got that. And you, whether you want to get off it or not, you just got to retain and just you know well, what I, mean? I, I just you know what i mean i just crack on and um but yeah like you know what it's been mad though you know i've been looking back going oh like the other day i watched my chasing my uh blast yeah, blastonbury you know glastonbury glastonbury performance and i was like oh that felt like a lot well it's 10 years it was nine years ago so what was that 2011 11, when yeah. we first did it we did um the uh, west holt stage <laughs> Headline and then 2000 and I feel like it was 2013 because mm. I think 2012 wasn't on. Then they were headlining. Um, no, I f- one of them it was a headline slot at the other stage, I think, because mm. we were on the same time as the Rolling Stones, mate. Mm. And it was next, you know. Wow, it was next. And so I know it wasn't me doing my own thing, but. 
them times there, yeah, they're just mad. So you wouldn't take you could you, you it was, you'd go back in a heartbeat. It's so um, I won't go back. But you? Like, no, no, it's long. Like going back and revisiting things is weird. It's like doing. You know when you're trying to get high again after one like you did mm. one good night. Like, I don't know. You went to went on holiday, had a beautiful time, and you go back there like a year later. You know, oh, shit. it's never quite the same. It's the same, but it can be nice. But so I, I just don't want to with things no, like right. that. It was such a nervous feeling that it, it wasn't just as simple as being epic mm. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you've got all sorts of emotions before you even get on that stage, bruv. <laughs> And like you gotta think about when you're on it, it you bathing in it, but it's also like it's mad, mate. It's bathing, mad. You come up, you bathing. come off like like you've had a line of coke, like mega. Mm. But when you've had that pure shit, that's not like it's not as wavy. It's mm. kind of like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The real mad, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that. I think I've had that with house parties before. Yeah, me. These, I've, had that, I've had that in like twenty people gigs though yeah. as well. When it's got really deep and you're shaking after like oh, doing some, you know, mad bar or some like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, these things, and I think it's like you say, it's a, it's part impromptu. It's that it's that uh, expect the unexpected and the unexpected happens, and yeah. before you know, it's like what the fuck? You can never repeat that again. You can't. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, That's no matter how often hard you times try. on my takes of music as well, it's mm. like keep that one in, and it's like not doesn't always make sense. Mm. Like audibly, <laughs> but it's a, just a good take. Mm, yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? It's just oh, a good... Mate. You know, when you, like, for instance, when you're putting down a guide vocal with no lyrics? Sometimes it's next. Yeah. Sometimes you've got to back it, you know, mm. and like, all right, like, let me think where I did that. Um, <laughs> I did that on this album a couple of times where I was going, I was on vibes. Mm. I was on vibes and afterwards... Somebody else said, "Oh, it sounds like it's saying that, you know." And I went, mm. "Oh yeah, mm. I'm not, but I am now." The, this new album is definitely on a wave, isn't it? It's, it's got it's got heavily heavy influences. I mean, I'm you know you like, reverb central here and there, and it's just got. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you feels like you've progressed a lot well, my in that direction. Sick, you know, you're not ready, yeah. fam. Like, <laughs> honestly, I'm so I'm fine. Like I've done it anyway. It took I, I could. I could have done this ages ago, but for certain type reasons. Why now? Was it? Is anything? Is the social climate got anything to do with no, it? No, you know what? It was just. It was fifty percent stars aligning, and fifty mm. percent before it wasn't always. Um, you know, I've been working with Leon for a long time, different times. We've done bits basically, um, but we never did the full record, and you know, I had different things going on before, so I was doing that, and now. You know, it always in the back of my head, I was like, well, I should do more, I should do more. And you know, mm. but anyway, nah, it's just like, bruv, you, it, it, when you, me, it's next. The it feels it like, sounds, it feels like, it's, it's, feels... Just, it's just sounds cool. I'm not saying it's like sick, you know, I think this, the, the writing's, um, for me, the writing's doing exactly what it needs to. Mm. I'm not, you know, when I get into that songwriting professional brain and I'm analyzing it next to like other songs, kind of, in terms of like, you know, what you imagine that Ivan Novellas are thinking. I'm not sure, you know, like I know that they're good songs. It's energy. But, but people tell me they're well written, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whole time. So, but all I'm saying Doing is... Doing a in, legacy, motherfucker, come on. In terms of the sound, no, bruv. It's rare that you have records that sound like this. That's what I'm thinking. That's all I'm saying is Leon don't just work with everyone as well. Mm. You know what I mean? And like, that's why I just want to let this music breathe now, bruv. Mm. Like, and let me, I just want to get... Yeah. Let it breathe. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. Might chill out on the features a bit, you know what I mean? Like, just chill out with my drum and bass features, my house <laughs> features. I had a couple of house features. I'm, I don't, you know. I, wanted I, mean? to, I, I wanted, kind of wanted to talk to you about this. I mean, it's not, it, it, it's no cul-de-sac of conversation. Mm. It's, 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 not, it's not loaded. It's not spicy. Mm. Um, it's more from a uh, practical point of view as an artist, because you, you, you know, a lot of people out here hold you in high regard, like I do, as being an extremely established one of, you know, a handful, if that, oh. of people that can jump on from one to one to one to one. Oh, big up, right? bro. So, nice one. Right, so it's fact. And Thank I you. love the fact that you can do that, the versatility. The, the thing that, that crosses my mind, and it's not for in any extent that you didn't want to do those things and it was just to kind of pay the bills, nothing like that. My mm -hmm. my thing is more couple movements though, I won't lie. Yeah, but 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 
What would you have done if you hadn't have done those? Oh, bro. Um, could, like, where would your career be? Um, okay, I could tell you now as well, because I've thought about this a lot, obviously. I think that it would. I I think that my talent is such that I would my what whatever I put my mind to do mm-hmm. musically, I'm gonna get good results. But it's whether I'm that's happy my with, shit. <laughs> Come on, it's whether I'm happy with it. Mm-hmm. And when you can't back something, you you do it half assed. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's you know like I feel like you just. There's certain times where, you know, if I would have, let's say, done um, a more kind of um, not so self-involved... I don't know, like, I don't know. I don't know, bruv. Like, I just feel like if I'd not done what I did, I wouldn't be kind of as good either as as what I am now. I think that I was a bit... I feel like there's a reason I made certain decisions before is because I was immature... And I think that I was just thought I knew better when I didn't. So what yeah. uh, what decisions? Like well, I I you know like um, made certain decisions. Like I think that I parted too much. <laughs> <laughs> you get me? I feel like I should have been more focused. Bailey, man, times. you're a fucking rock star. What do you expect? Nah, but that's like a soldier complains getting shot at. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. But um, but that's just my reality. And so I was like. You know, just probably, but that's a minor though. Still, but there's certain decisions like I I, ser- I signed certain things in it that I shouldn't really have. I should have gone a different uh, okay. door. You get me? Like I should have probably gone where there was more um, freedom to do certain things. But look, the grass. You always think at the time. Yeah. Also, Hindsight, you know man. what I've learned about myself as well recently. Yeah. Go ahead. It don't matter what it is, yeah, I'm going to moan about it. And what I've found <laughs> is when I stop involving myself so much in what I'm doing, mm. things go a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> As in like... <laughs> Fam, I get things all messed up. Like, I get confused and, like, I can... A bit yeah. like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, when I back away and just let other people do things I love that you bit, do that. Yeah, I yeah get you. then it works a bit yeah, yeah. more. But when I'm there overthinking it, you know what I mean? Like, I've, I've really enjoyed doing more being more in self-powering and all of that, like trying to put myself across and all of that a bit more, trying to be more real in, in song and everything. But there's certain things, that you, mm. yeah, where like it's just good to take advice, isn't it? You you, yeah, 100%, because that's what you delegate to, for people to do. In it, and stop Which is really hard, isn't it? Um, is that... Right, so is here comes here comes the Claire Rain a bit, all right? So the, the, the assessment I'm... I'm I'm coming putting together in my head is uh, there's a fear factor. I know what you mean about looking at things and thinking, "Fuck, do I delegate that to that person? Is it going to be all right?" Fuck, let me just let me just check. You know what I mean? And sometimes that could, yeah, that that can cause a bit of right. Is that is that just a a reaction to a past of yes. industry shit yeah, and yeah, yeah, exactly. maybe even street stuff? Maybe yeah. you growing up as a kid, it, anything. It, definitely, bro. Definitely. Because money ain't like you don't just Honestly, make money like that. Like, I made a couple <laughs> of decisions, yeah, where I took. I could have done more with money. Like, mm. I could have like took more money, but yeah, there's certain things where you're just like, oh, and then you you have to step back and go, oh, that was an automatic thing there because you're getting defensive mm. or whatever. Yo, I, what I will say about today's time zone, mm. uh, the music, bruv, like, that people Jesus. are releasing, some of it's next, you know, it's know. sick. Like People sleeping on a lot of it, and I, I'm like, shit, it's fire. Like, right now? It's, yeah, some of it is sick. Like, I, I, I've only, like, I'm the kind of guy that will listen to one Twin B show, yeah, on Radio 1, and then all of a sudden I'm current in it. <laughs> yeah? So I, I've heard some stuff on Twin <laughs> show the other night, which I was like, rah. Because I rate Twin, in it? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah of but, course, of course, OG. Proper OG, actually, Twin. Yeah, it's, it's um, yeah, I know what you mean. Sometimes I have, like, I do flit, I have to admit. You know, time's precious, you know, and you get... What are you feeling? I'm feeling uh, they, T-H-E-Y, they. Like, they're like an R&B, like, from the States. Okay. Proper, proper like, TLC, but two guys. Oh, nice. So sick. You know what? That's been threatening on happening for a minute, that kind of uh, new, new Jack... Swing. Exactly. Bro, I did a track the other day, the other month with Saul, um, Chase the Status, yeah. Mm, mm, we were just mm, jamming mm. in the studio. 
Like, we got gassed in it, but I, I'm like, it's not the direction, bruv. But it was sick, <laughs> mate. New <laughs> Jack Swing, fam. Like, and Saul was like, yo, I swear down. And he's, da, 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 da. I was like, yo. And then I knew when he was on it, I thought, oh, someone's going to be coming. I was texting Beanie going, yo, Beanie, we proper need to do this this little duo, you know. Mate. Laughing, joking and carrying on. Was it like being in an environment where anything goes like that. Bro, like, I love it. What, where you can just make things happen and well, stuff? Well, yeah, because like, you've gone from house to drum and bass to coming yeah, yeah. to your own stuff. I, I mean, love it, mate. Yeah, yeah. It's just like you've the ver- you can just roll on wherever. That's must yeah. be just a buzz. Yeah, it is. Um, but you know what? Like, I do live a very bohemian kind of chill. Do you know what I mean? Like, give yes- me a day in life. Well, a day yesterday life. I was doing with give me the Magic day. Mushrooms yesterday. Did you? Because yeah. so, I wanted to write a song and I wanted to see what I was saying. So I had like a couple grams of um, of uh, what's it called now? I forgot what it's what it's called. But um, I wrote this sick idea coming up. You know, some a different approach. But I have a life where I can do that. I don't have kids. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, you mm-hmm. know, made sure the house was blessed when the missus got home. You know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, it, and I didn't get too mashed up. But what I'm saying is like I have that kind of life and I love that. You know what I mean? But obviously How bohemian does it get? Give us a give us a day in life. No, that bruv. I did mushrooms at two in the afternoon and started playing, you know, the guitar. So you get up in the morning? Mm-hmm. You have your breakfast? Yeah, I went out to go get some uh I went out and then went to Argos. Um, you know what I mean? Just came back, did my mushrooms with, with lemon and ginger and that. Chilled out, then had some food. Shout out to KFC. Sorry, I had to go to the Babylon, Babylon thing, and then um, wrote this sick idea, which is in a sick tuning actually. Um, on the guitar. Oh yeah, you got it on there. Yeah, I've got like okay. I've just got the, I've got the tuning. Took out to the mic, mic so No, actually know. I can't because this might be a tune, you know. No. It's a sick tuning. Um, yeah, that's it. See, Bohemian by design, see. Ooh. It's like... In it! Woo! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot about you, you know. Danger! So you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and I, I was like, also with the approach... Um, Cause I'm used to doing big vocal. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. I wanted to more like up close. Um, you know, what I mean, less. You know, because when you're doing up close, you need to do as you know, bruv. Mm. You do lyrics in it, and I want to say more. That's the other thing I want to do more. You know, say more without being preachy or um, or be getting too Morrissey. You know what I mean? Oh, big shout out Smith Morrissey all shout day. Shout out to the Smiths, but all bruv, day. chill out with your flipping madness. Yeah, yeah, you're publishing and bollocks. Come on, they're all in the band. What? Yeah, oh, you two yeah. get back together, be friends. Yeah, sort your publishing out as well. You're being a bit greedy with greedy, that. Greedy, Stephen. greedy, greedy, yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah, I'm a proper music nerd, innit? I mean, I'm a I'm Smiths fan. Um, but anyway, can I drop one on you? Because I know you're a hip hop head, innit? Go on. Um, Benny, Benny and them lot. The butcher and that. <laughs> you feeling that? Uh, what, what then? Benny oh, the butcher stuff? is there? All oh, right, so it's talk to me. His older crew or something like that, yeah. And I got sent this thing by this guy Benny the butcher. It's from America. I forget where. Fire me that over. Yeah, it's sick. Whoa. Um, and then flipping. I want to give a shout out to Benny Diction, my brethren. Yeah. What type also Benny? Juggernaut from Ooh. Nottingham. Yeah. Ju- Whole time a Nottingham crew. Are you from? Bro, yeah, I'm from Nottingham. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let's bit, talk about the bill. Ap- apologies for. I say bruv like bruv because I've been down here 15 years, yeah? I get it all the time from my brethren's in Nottingham. It's just how I'm doing. I'm mixed race in every way. I'm also <laughs> Not mixed, mixed region. Hey, look, I'll tell you what, right? Uh, when I first started... Out the Ville. Out the yes. Ville all day. But before that, Chat Big Trev. Trev. Yeah, Big Trev had another um, group called... Um, oh, my God. Trev's an OG. He's doing madness um, on Instagram uh, with his muscles and yeah, that, bro. Mate, mate, mate. It's check, everyone check out Big Trev on his Instagram. It's he's mad. like he's like a he's a, he's a he's a musclologist. He can do anything. Well, he just, he's just crazy yeah. on the, he's crazy on the game. What was he saying, bro? Sorry, I keep. Um, so, right, so uh, you was on about Trev. Bronx, it? heavy Bronx experience. Oh, right. I don't know. Can I be real? Scorsese scores. Right, day. scores all day. Lee Ramsey. Don't know him. Scorsese, he was that was his boy. They were tight. Forty-five uh, King as well back yes. in the day. Whole time. But the thing is, yeah, my so. 
first blood, what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what are you saying? I'm I'm being real, isn't it? Like <laughs> Ty, what are you saying? They're my people. Right. Louis Cipher, what are you saying? Scores, people, what are you people saying? Juggernauts, my people. I don't know out the Ville crew apart from Scores. Trev, I've met a few times. Is 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 a sick guy. Yeah. I love I love what he like. He's inspirational when I watch how he moves. Yeah. Young team boxing. Example. Then. There you go. Yeah, That's the, the example you're talking mm-hmm. about. He's one of those guys. Yeah. He's a good example. Mm, for and real. It must be a burden. But mm. that's yeah, it. for real. Um, young team Bugsy. Yes, I rate them. No I, like, I, like, I like that. Local crew. Uh, Snowy as well. Snowy. Snowy. Did he do a Vlad? Yeah. I think it he was did, yeah. random, wasn't yeah, it? Because yeah, I've random. never even heard of Snowy, you know. <laughs> I bet you get all the time because, you know, like Nottingham come, has a heritage of acts and artists. And you must sit there and think, so, gee, what, huh? Like, Bruh. yeah. Um, shout out to Carla, by the way. Hold tight to Carla. That's her boy from the yeah. back of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just yeah, finished yeah, yeah. reading his book. Oh, yeah. what's that like? Good. Really good, mate, yeah. Uh, it was just, you know, we have similar experiences with just from different parts of the country mm. not similar like similar yeah similar of course mm, mm. <laughs> um, uh, here's the more intense I suppose um, but yeah it's wicked but I highly recommend it especially to the youth them uh, uh, Ak- Akala's extremely articulate just going back to what you were saying about yeah. wanting to develop your so- songwriting I guess but to develop your um, your ability to convey the words you want to say without being too uh, overly emphasizing mm. that your moral star or or yeah being telling people what to do mm. You've yeah got, it's a real fine line isn't it with yeah it? carla seems to pull that off He's... yeah it makes it conversational isn't it yeah. yeah and i think that it that might be why yeah but there's there is a there is a um a framework to songwriting you know that yes there is yeah is there's a real there there, ha- oh, there, there is right it's hard to explain is it? yeah I think for you it might be more of a framework because you maybe because of the because I, I I don't write a lot of lyrics mm. so maybe I am doing framework things but I will then framework it after. See, I'm framing mine to the beatbox the whole time. In it, so you've got and you're used to being like if mm. I told you to drop bars now you would. Yeah, yeah. But but that's the thing when you're. When you're trying to get a message across and you're singing it, like sometimes, you know, you listen to, um, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's an age thing and when they did it and whatnot, because a lot of the music that's out now that can't be replicate, can't replicate mm. that era of what Rolling Stones did or mm. Hendrix did mm. or mm. Sex Pistols did. But there's still something about their music that is so direct and cutting. But if you were to do that now in this generation, it would seem a bit lame. Yeah, and you know what's mad, right? I've noticed when people do do stuff like that, it gets... This niche thing gets raided by like corporate advertisers and that. Mm. So you'll have something dead cool and then all of a sudden, look, bruv, I, I won't, <laughs> okay. I've got to get money in it, but but sometimes you've got to just chill out on it. Like something cool will just be, you're like, oh, burnt why, out. Why is that on? Yeah, like the other day, you know. I was, Harlem Shake. <laughs> I was listening to something on, on, the, on the advert and I was like, wow, oh, that's actually a sick song. And now I'm, I know, because I know what's happened to all those tunes I used to get. Can you remember come da- you have a come down and like Zero Seven would be on or bon- Bonobo and then, uh, you, you know, you can't really do it now. Not yeah. f- for the come down, but because some advert raped it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's saying something, because if you, if it's not the come down that's deterred you, yeah, yeah. Then that's pretty next, because normally a come down, yeah, you can't listen to like certain tunes where, well, this is come down music. You, it makes you feel edgy. <laughs> yes. So anyway, yeah. What's the other one? Yeah. You know that, that you know that, that Marks what? and Spencer's adverts always fucking on with the They violence. always do it. The John Lewis. I, mm. I look. I might have been drunk, yeah, but I swear down, I turned one of them down. John Lewis advert, mm. you know, but I might be tripping. But I know that I did a, a cover of Please Let Me Get What You Want This Time and they Ooh, asked me you to... did? Su- yeah, they asked me to submit it. And I, I think... I, oh, no, I submitted it and I didn't get picked. <laughs> That's what happened. I'm glad, actually, because those things always come out so twee. Yeah. And like, but the paper's good, like, the money's sick. Yeah, but how far do you go? Exactly. you just got to get paid, I suppose, now, but to try and do it in line. Apparently, brand look, branding's a thing anyway. We brand. Yeah, we brand. Like, uh, just brand. try and brand ethically, That's I a suppose. badass T-shirt. I was just recognise what's going on here. That's fire. I know, I'm wearing a brand now, isn't it? Yeah. So, and then, you know, but you just try and do it ethically, I suppose. Like, you do it ethically. Yeah. It's a real tough one. 
But at least when you say that, you know, you were a contender for the audio of a particular... At least it's still in line with your... Like going back to Love Island and all that. You know, imagine going and doing that and you're just like, you, you, That's your whole personality and everything Bro, exposed. You think it's your personality well, as yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Look, yeah, yeah. How they go in, mate, with the mm-hmm. psycho... You know, I've got a bedroom, yeah, who, um, whose bedroom works... Good bedroom works at... Um, that 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 company that does Big Brother and that Endemol is it Endemol? That's it. Yes, bro. it's such a mad name it's as well. It's a mad name. And, um, it's a band in itself. Oh, they it's, they're not playing, you know, when they go in on the on the production and, mm. and the psychological things that they're doing. Mm. They're not playing. No. Um, and I, I I've actually, you know what, being in the music industry and seeing psychological games be played a lot. Oh. Like, I think it mm. happens a lot in the creative arts. Like, you can manipulate someone into something because of uh, something they want. And then they end up acting up and you can use it and exploit it and everything. And these companies make money um, out of tragedy and that. So well, it's have. mad. That's insane you said that. So you're saying they'll seed, let it grow. Grow until it becomes it's ge- mad. And then, and then they start... Then, chopping it down and creating you the way that they want to. And then also, all of a sudden you're having discussions about like, I never see it like that. I you're having like discussions that. about, oh, why is Jade Goody a racist? And, blah, 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 and she probably was. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Well, look. All Stay, I, they, yeah, I all get like, what you're do saying. Do you see what I'm saying? They edit it and all that. But Everything, everyone knows this though, you know. Yeah, yeah. Even like my mum knows that. So like, it's mad. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> as yeah. Well. Because, because uh, divide and conquer to majority of of the new media yeah and it makes money so it's like it may look like it's like when you hear those stories of people killing themselves and and everything and Mm. and you're like they can always get out of the guilt and that by saying stuff like you know well they wanted to be famous and yeah you know like and and live by the sword die by the sword of shit it's mad but they create that. They create the foundations. In it, yeah. In it. So it's again, it's born Babylon. But um, born Babylon. It, but it is that it is literally mm. it's mad out here mm. trying to stay sane, isn't it? All day. Like, it is mad. Especially, especially as artists. Yeah, I'm gonna get a water. You know, can, can yeah, I get a water? Yeah, get a water. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. yeah, just down there. Grab, right. grab one of those cups. <laughs> it's one of those things, isn't it? That yeah, just grab a cup, man. Any of them one. Uh, it's one of the mad things, isn't it? Where you. We sit around the the parameters, yeah. yeah. Tem Spring, yeah, uh, Council Pop. Yeah, Council Pop. <laughs> we sit around the parameters of of seeing this, looking in the eye of uh, of of this madness. Yeah. And uh, sometimes, as entertainers, I feel like we know too much. In it, like when I'm watching the U.S. politics. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Because we that know is the, genius. Like that's a movie. Trump. It's Trump. A movie. <laughs> it's playing out like a movie. Uh, can I just make a disclaimer, yeah? I do not live in reality, really, okay? As you can tell, I live a different reality, yeah, <laughs> yeah. to norm, to to the grind in terms of the conventional. But when I watch how Trump moves, like, it's like, wow. Mm-hmm. It's, it, 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 you know, his rallies go on for about, like, he's up there for about two to three hours, you know? Fucking Bruce Springsteen. He's an animal, mate. Fucking show. Just as a performer, you know what that means, innit? It's a lot. That is a lot. Like, even everyone's like, oh, no, he's just stood there talking. No, just check again what's going on there. This is mad. Like, the way the the, the theatrics are just out and out loud now, aren't they? You know, like, if you compare time. it to 15 years ago when we were younger, you could, if you look back, you can say, oh, you, all right, Tony Blair was on moving like on a PR one and all that. You could tell, but whatever. True. But, you know what I mean? But now it's like out and out, just everything's loud. Like we don't give a fuck. We're going to just blatantly like do this and that. And it, we're going to just back it in. The, oh, it's mad. It is mad. It is mad. Because when you think of it, they don't give a fuck. Everyone's, <laughs> it's like rats on a ship that's like maybe sinking or they just don't know where it's going. <laughs> But like when you take Endemol as an example of orchestrated, curated yeah. fuckery, yeah. well then let's look at it in an even deeper international, mega structural way like the presidents. 
Like that, Behind yeah. a curtain. Yeah, the There's curtain. There's still curtain. That's scary how much things well, being controlled of shit. Yeah, like the curtain, yeah. Behind that curtain is just, it's quite lonely. It's vast, but it's mm. lonely. I don't think there's many people stood in there in terms of, I don't think there's any way in the, anything in the way of like faces, really. It's mm. more ideas. Mm. Um, I mm. think that like the, the idea of the way we're living right now, um, obviously the beauty of like, human beings is the more of us get together and see if things a certain way you know there's a lot of power in that and it manifests in genius but like the louder voices of those like the louder ideas are the ones that it's kind of almost as though they're deciding that we don't matter mm-hmm. um they've That's decided cool. it and mm-hmm. and maybe it was you know i mean I look i'm not saying it's like a a five a one percent minute I'm not I'm not on that like what mm. when I say I'm not that I'm not talking about that but what I mean is like the idea is bigger than the actual faces or the people like yeah. the the power is you could there's an argument to say the power has always been and always will be where it is and who has the power doesn't matter mm. so like the tr- the train station has to be run cuz the idea was made Mm. who controls it doesn't really matter as long as it serves or as long as it's doing its thing um that's a great analogy because it's true it's just the ideas bruv so you know i think if everyone can start trying to self-empower yeah um in in other ways Mm. not through material ways i think that we'll find it easier to vote correctly Mm. (laughs) Mm, 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 mm. mad uh in in terms of social um, experiences right now mm. we're in a kind of cottage based like we're boys now mm-hmm. we're we, we, we communicating now mm. you're part of the circle we're part of the, uh, each of our circles that circle's really tight that circle you know what I mean it's like you a lot of people's circles are normally within like the handful that, that's in, in their f- f- last two days phone, f- phone book mm. these things are now we are it's almost easier for them to penetrate because they're just going to little pockets. So, like, and that would leak out into. I would do something that would leak out into you, and then it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, because the social. Are you refer? Are you like learn to the fact that social cohesion? Yeah. Is basically all online, and so we're all going to these points, and it's yeah. like right. And whereas before, we'd probably dialogue. Yeah. With but the hard, community harder, about it, it'd like be harder for them to pe- to penetrate it because they rank these portals yeah but now our communities are as close as each other are but online mm. do you know what I mean mm. and it is you can do whatever mm. online you can be whatever mm. and and even if you're being real online it doesn't matter like you, you you know it can it's it's at the mercy of of that type of perception the mm. other end um I'm checking your perception is. What do you reckon your perception, the perception people have of you is? Because what we do is we try to articulate as best mm. we can in, in a third party honesty level of like, yeah, 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 this is me, right? But that takes a lot of guts. What do you reckon people see you as, persona wise? Um, probably like this guy with a sick voice um, that, you know, um, always turns up on one of their favourite tunes. Like, it is mad. People text me, yeah. They, they message me on Instagram. Like, they're like, what? Bruv, like, I just listened to this tune and, and it's you. No idea, like, it's yeah, you. Yeah, they're yeah. like, bro, like, I forgot about you, you know. Like, yeah, I yeah. love it because it's almost like, then, you know, they want to have a conversation. What are you doing, mate? Like, yeah. anyway, but... Um, I love that shit. I like that, yeah. So <laughs> I think that that... And then I think I get, an, a, you know, a bit, you know, like a bit of a... Like a... Like a... What do you call it? Like a Jack the Lad, maybe? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, anyone that knows me, oh, oh, they know that I'm... I'm de- I can be deep as well. Mm-hmm. I'm quite a deep guy anyway. I'm quite a sensitive person, in it. So... Mm. But, yeah, I think... I, I don't think people have seen enough of me to to have a fully formed idea. But I used to do a lot of interviews, all like not care, mm. and I used to say some mad stuff, you know, just for being a dickhead, like and just just not really bothering. Like I remember once turning up to Channel Four, 
to do this fish, uh, thing called Freshly Squeezed. I remember that. You remember that? Yeah. And, bruv, like, when I think back to what my attitude was like, you know, I was bad-minded, you know. I was bad-minded, like, because uh, I thought it was shit. <laughs> I thought it was like this. I didn't, I don't think I understood what it was. It was just some shitty little thing on Channel 4 that I yeah, didn't yeah. really need to take serious. So yeah. turned up and I was like, Ugh. I think I was hung over like a mother as well. Like, you know, sometimes you might as well just carry on drinking rather than try and sleep and then wake up like an Dude, idiot. Do I know? Like, if, you're, if you're really about life, yeah, don't be doing this don't what do you it. haven't been to bed. Bro, if I'd have gone to bed, yeah, yeah. we'd be having a different Dude, conversation. I'm telling you now, man, don't, never wake up in the morning and think, fuck it, I've gone this far, I'm going to drink some more. Just don't no, do it to yourself. No, but if, you're, if it's four, and you're thinking, well, oh, I've got to get up at seven. You might as well just stay up, right, and do your thing in it. Just keep, yeah. Just, just, just get. Just, but a carry on drinking bit. That'll just don't care. Yeah, but try and do your energies. Mm. And like anyway, I was on a bad minded one, and I remember he was asking me questions, and I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm into like uh, bacon outfits because uh, Jay, uh, Lady Gaga, I'd seen something with her wearing oh, yeah. the bacon. And I didn't talk about it. It was mad. Anyway, my attitude was just like, whatever. Pass, pass, say, stop, whatever. Yeah. So I don't think people really have seen enough of my personality or whatever. Mm. But it's mad as well. You know, when you're doing all this social media, you go like two days later, you'll be like smoking the right spliff and you're like, oh, was I a dickhead the other day on life? <laughs> Oh, me, yeah, like, yeah, or was yeah. I being this and that? It's like, you know what? Stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't yeah. give a fuck 10 years ago, yeah? Oh. Like, allow it. Was your 21 year old think? You know, you got to go back to there and think, well, okay, well, how I, would I I don't get it. I just, I just, whatever now, nah, in it. Yeah. Like, my truth is my truth. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, you, you can't be doing this media savvy business. Well, that's it, because you're bound to expose certain traits of you. This is the lot, this is our world, this TV. Mini TV that people hold in their hands. That's our lives now. If you're a bad person, though, it would definitely... Be, and you're not. Yeah, <laughs> do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. But you can think too much. I know that's, I, do it, I do it when I've had a bit too much to drink. The morning after, I'm sitting there thinking, was I a dick last night? Probably. Yeah, like, I get too chatty patty, brother. Yeah. Do you? Uh, yeah, like, I fucking love it. Yeah. I love it. I, you know, and, it, and it's just, it's, I think it's always going to be my bugbear. Yeah, like, I love talking, innit? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then you get a couple of drinks down, yeah? Exactly. With your cheeky cigar, and the next thing it's like, do you know? Yeah. We all have vices, don't we? I do, yeah, we do have our vices. My mind just wandered off then. Um, my vice is now is sugar, like a motherfucker. Mm. Um, um, and I like my weed and uh, my hallucinogenics. I don't drink alcohol now. Oh, because, yeah, well, only because, like, it's the one thing that, if I was to drink, I'd be out, still get going out and mm. like spending loads of money, trying to save money a bit more. Yeah, you money's the I mean? one with alcohol. Just, it's not worth it. Bruv, like I used to get like, cause once you know, I I, I like to, you know I like to go out in it. So, you know, mm. I, I'm just trying to save money, trying to chill out on on. Yeah, it's been quite good actually. It's been quite. You enjoyed like, it. Yeah, the lockdown was blessed as well. Yeah, me um, too. I was. Out you of know trouble. what? That was why I started smoking weed really, cause the lockdown. Mm. Um, oh, so you weren't doing it so much before, and then no, you... not really. Yeah. But it's the lockdown, yeah. Um, it just helped. Mm. You know what I mean with the creativity, with the chilling. Also, you know, we weren't allowed to go out and everything. And walking in the park was just getting long. Bare pe like everyone's in the park. And I and... just wanted to bark at everybody that walked past me. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? What the fuck are you doing here? You know, everyone I mean? starts looking at each other when you're trying oh, to walk past. Me. It was. It's mad, you know. Like we are. Sketchy, aren't we? We are a fucking sketchy species, <laughs> for real. Bunch of fucking wallies. Have you seen the state of some of the parts have been left in me? Clean, and then we come in, Whoa. fuck it up. Like, as mate, if it's all right. Yeah, like on the, um, I think it's Cornwall and that. Hmm. The way that the, um, I've seen these pictures, the way the people have been leaving. Look, I get it, innit? Like, and you know what? I've probably been that guy where I've, like, I've gone and, set up a tent I think I might have done I'm just I know I've done for curry mm. in it but when you see it's just so like all over the place mm. people like digging into the um to the land to do like a fire pit I'm just not that guy mm. man like we haven't got a, a lot of green space in it no. like but that maybe I'm just showing my age nah we're self-destructive 
It's only, horrible, I mean, bruv, watching it. Well, that's why I think that the powers B don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck because we don't give a fuck. Bruv, we're out here, just everyone's, you know what I mean? It's, and it's acceptable, you know? We, we're the only species that kills each other for sport. So right. why the fuck would... Why would anyone above us give a fuck? Right. They know that we're, it's going to be old news if they do something dumb anyway. In it? Twin Towers. Yeah, right. Exactly. And things don't even stick around, like... Don't even stick around. Beirut, Beirut minute... Oh my god! That, that, I won't lie, that did test me, yeah, because I, I always, I'm always the guy going, "Oh, I'm not really affected by it anymore." When I saw that shit, I was like, I, that, oh. "I won't lie." For a day, I was like, "Wow," because you, I, you just never know what's going to happen yeah. next. And then I, you know, um, but things are so kind of epic all the time. You know what it's like? It's like RoboCop. You know the first episode of RoboCop. It's it's exactly like it's that. RoboCop. We're CPU, living in RoboCop. Corporate punishment. And Demolition Man. You remember Demolition Man? Exactly Demolition it, Man. It is. So everyone's mad heads. Yeah. And then there's the mad heads with money and the mad heads with that. Super, de- yeah. And the ones are underground. Demolition Man, baby. That's what he exactly, it reminds me of everything to do with that. Yeah. Scary. It is mad. So what we'll, we'll go on then. Should we no, just watch I, a movie and see about, what happens? I, I, think I would like a child. I would like to bring children in this world. But Not here. What, what am I saying? Though? Yeah. What, why am I doing that, really? Am I doing yeah. it so I've got a mate when it's about 20? Or a pension plan when you're really I don't old? Know, but, but, yeah, do I want to pattern him up, like try and get him to be, be one of them parents? Look like, after you. So you're you know. going to make money, mate. Like, yeah. I don't, it's all like what, you know. But then maybe I'm being cynical in that. Nope. I feel exactly what you're saying. I think we as artists ask ourselves more than questions based from financial and also looking from afar a lot more. We're observers. So when you see shit and like, I don't know, one born every minute, are you fucking mad? That's are all you mad. Mad. Yeah, that... So, you know, when I think of kids, I, I just think of, well, what are we raising them into? Do mm. I really need to add value? And am I being selfish by bringing, bringing someone them into in? Them, yeah. And like, yeah, because. I think if you've got a good family mm. or, a, you know, family can be friends or it can be blood, um, then, you know, there's an argument. Say mm. we want an extension. Yeah. yeah. But then we're dealing with that human flex again because um, however we want to paint it, we're, mm. we're going to consume something, whether we have a child or not. Mm. I think. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think, I don't know, but I think that as soon as you start being on the whole, well, we're overpopulating it and rah, 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 everyone's got to do it. Because mm. yeah, you yeah. know they're already starting this with the overpop... Bro, bro. No, no, no. They're no. starting this talk, yeah, and what they don't realise is it's not white people that they're going to encourage to not have babies. It's brown people. You reckon? Yeah, mate, definitely. Like... The 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 way that the these these guys are going on, yeah, like people are talking about how we're overpopulating and stuff like that. But it's like they're oftentimes they're from the Western world, whether they're black, white or whatever. Hmm. And that's a difficult conversation to have when you're my man from Sudan or my man from which I don't know, Sudan might be but I don't know what go on economically, but uh, or my man from somewhere in South Asia can't really tell him about overpopulation. Um, so Ooh, I just no, I just feel like, like I that. just feel like everyone needs to chill out a little bit with that as well because whether we're going to be consuming or not, it's going to be doing it in some madness. There's so many people in the world. You can't tell people. You can't, bro. <clears throat> That's not how humans work. We, whether we like it or not, we are hive-minded collective. Yeah. When you're watching people all gather and everyone's main purpose is to sing, that tells me there's something greater than Tesco. Mm. So when you're dealing with this energy of people mm. together and I feel mm. that yeah there's telling one man he can't he can't pump <laughs> and then the next man <laughs> in it it's mad so that's like red flag to a bull man. bruv I've been getting into <laughs> Asian alien things yeah ah, bruv yeah. and I, I, I was getting into it yeah until I realised <laughs> some of these guys that are chatting there's not many black people there's not there's a lot of white people from America yeah. that all seem to be from this certain academia yeah. type like on the on the fringes of that mm. and they're often white and not really mm. and not i've seen a couple black guys i won't lie but like not all i'm i'm just worried that people start all these interesting conversations and it ends up being 
like mad. Like this guy was trying to say that these things in Africa probably weren't built by these guys. And, oh, I see what you're saying. And I was like, oh, that's mad. I'm not really also, feeling that pres- anymore. He the, also, the, the narrator always fucking says, perhaps. It's always a fucking perhaps as look, well. I'm into the old... Uh, late, look, if they, I like the idea. It's I, entertaining. It's entertaining, but also it, it's just as valid. <laughs> <laughs> it's just as valid <laughs> as fucking... Um, you know what I mean? I don't want to... Look, as to me in some religions, yeah? Just as valid. Mm. It's the same concept. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's the same, same concept. It's the same principle yeah. of, of play. But, um, like, it's just who's having these conversations. And like you and say, you've got these white guys that are predicting and trying to perhaps, 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 when it's actually directly geared towards a, a, an ancient place, a place from out of their region of Yeah, but they always end living. up looking like them and all, it's all mad and... Mm. And it, but anyway, I mean, I've been into this ancient like I've been into Graham Hancock, mate. I won't lie. Really, I love Graham Hancock. You know, I love li- reading his books. Anyway, he's mm. a joker. Mm. Like, I used to read Lord of the Rings in it, so now I'm. <laughs> oh, so now you're like. <laughs> Have I veered completely off? No, oh, oh, this is fucking great, <laughs> and they love it as well. Um, um, yeah, so uh, the overpopulation thing, like I feel like we do. I'm constantly looking around at the moment, being like, "Ah." Oh, this is a lot with how we're moving, mm-hmm. but I don't understand. I don't understand how we're gonna come to. Yeah. I think we're just gonna keep eating it, eating it, and we're gonna have more of these high rise buildings and that. But what are we eating it for? This is oh, it's, to maybe, live. Maybe this is the ancient alien biggest question ever. Mm. What are we living for? <laughs> Um, what are we reproducing for? What's the what fuel are we providing for something else? What is this thing? Just that question alone is the reason that we're born. Mm. Because everyone, no one's born knowing anything. Mm. Just think of that. No one's born knowing anything. anything. <gasps> so, like that must be. So that says to me that there is no. You just have to do you. Like, whatever's doing just has to do. So That's cold. I've never thought of it like that. But it, it's just going to run, in it? Like, it, 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 nothing stops. Everything is a reproduction of things that people are seeing. Yeah. It doesn't like, necessarily mean it's a thing. But does it have to be an idea or does it have to be flesh? I don't know. But wow. anyway, you could tell I had a split before I got here. But these are general thoughts that I think, like, this is what I'm thinking about. And so the overpopulation, you do wonder, like, how it's going to go. And it is going to only go one way. Like, we're just going to keep consuming it until, the, you know, we'll keep warring. Hmm. You, you know, this is just it. Like, it, it, there's no respite. We should stop trying to do revolutions. Hmm. Yeah? That's mad. Hmm. And, it's a, and it's a youth sport. Pardon? It's a youth sport. It's a, everyone gets bored, you know, of that. Yeah, it's a youth sport. Um, I used to be a right idealist, but, mm-hmm. but yeah, like we are literally here to just like we're just doing it in it. We've never done anything different, so therefore, like we just keep lamenting the fact that there's not a lot of green spaces. Mm. Lament the fact that it's too hot in the summer. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. just got to keep working around it because if it's not that, it's going to be something else. Like I remember when I was always moaning about my hay fever and I was convinced that that was because the world was on fuckery. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I just couldn't, and I was like, oh, that uh, hay fever alone just shows that we're yeah. supposed to be just designing air conditioning and that anyway. Because <laughs> it's, I, isn't it? Like, it's that's not a spiritual experience for me. Whereas if <laughs> I'm going to do mushrooms show. and feel nausea and then trip, I'm like, right, thanks. Yeah, yeah. That was nature doing its thing. I went with the process. Yeah. No, like hay fever's just straight out and out fuckery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I need to protect myself. So, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it, all this? Yeah, absolutely. Your mind. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <amazing>. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, I, th- I would argue this has been an hour and piece of in the mind, of, probably probably the most extensive of, of conversations that p- people get to know you fairly fairly uh, well after this. Big up. How cool is that? Big up, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall leave it there. To continue the saga of Liam's mind, simply log. Where's he going? Where's um, he going? Instagram. Liam Bailey dot music on my Instagram. There you go. Liam Bailey on the YouTube um, and on the Spotify. All of that. All that good, good, good. Thank you so much for passing through, Big my up. brother. Nice one. Top boy. Bless. Top boy. You know where we are now. Tea's yeah. in the pot. Drinks in the fridge. Cheers. So we do have a killer killer podcast. Right, don't forget to share, share and like. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Do not sleep on this one. All right. You know what we're doing. Don't talk to any strange ones. We'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.
Nice. Yeah. Nice, bro. <laughs>